So these salamanders live the bulk of their lives on the hills and once a year, usually end of March, mid-March, when we get a warm rainy night, they come down from those hills. They'll go over to the wetlands behind me and they'll lay their eggs. They'll be there for a few days and then they are back up to the hills again. But, you know, part of that journey means that they're crossing Westlake Road here, which uh, is busy. So we see spotted salamanders. Uh, that's probably the most popular one. It's a black salamander with yellow spots. And we also get a, uh, it's called a Jefferson salamander. Those are the two big ones that we see. The role that they play for the environment, uh, they are great indicator species. So uh, they do not move very far in their lifetimes. Uh, they have uh, very thin skin, skin thin enough they can breathe through it. So they are a great indicator for environmental health, uh, especially for pollution. You can come out here on a warm rainy night and you know it, you will see mass casualties of them on nights when we're not here to help them. Yeah, you can go on that side because you have a better eye catching oh, yeah. This is my seventh. Okay. He's kind of covered in... I don't know how you're finding them. Well, it's kind of... I didn't think I was going to like it, but it's kind of fun. Like, I, I, you can find them like in the bushes and like in the <laughs> ditches where there's like water. I don't know. It's like exciting when you find one. <laughs> On a night like tonight, hopefully very, very low mortality. And people leaving with great memories. Uh, you know, then, then usually you get to touch something, then you care about it, then you care about its conservation, you know, so it, it's a win for everyone. Salamanders make it to their area, people are building memories, get people to care about amphibians. It's, that's my dream.